down, people. It's me, Pretzel, and I'm in the Dragon Cave. As you can see, I uh, put a few things into the storage, but this is mostly just stuff I've gotten as I've started to redo the walls. So what I've mostly just done is make them straight and replace them with mud. But there's more to come, as you can see right here. I'm thinking I like what's going on here. We've got some cherry wood pillars, and we've got streaks of charcoal blocks running through uh, across the walls. And down at the bottom, we've got some black stone bits to trim it as it's transitioning from the floor to the walls. And then, um, this is a lot less uh, intentional uh, than this stuff, but we've got the ceiling, at least for this room, this uh, dragon's chamber room. We've got, <laughs> it kind of looks like eyes, uh, a uh, little bit. Uh, but yeah, we've got ceiling, we've got walls, uh, and I have uh, just need to, uh, at this point, I just need to figure out how to continue this throughout the cave. There probably will be some spots where it doesn't work, especially where I need to transition it into uh, this rocky bit. Um, because I'm not sure exactly how, um, to do that. Because I want to keep at least some of this rough shape. Uh, and this mud wall design is very up and downy, straight up and downy. <laughs> up and downy. Oh my goodness. Um, but I did figure out uh, some way to vary it up a little bit. So where I had the, the test thing before, I've redone it. And I think I can not, not just use the mud, but probably some like stairs and slabs and walls sort of stuff to give this a little frame. And maybe this can be sort of a magic uh, scrying mirror or something like that. And this stuff up here, I'm thinking uh, we do some of that Aurora crystal thing. Because in the end, you find this in huge chunks that look like big things of crystal. And if I can make this look like bits of crystal sticking out, like natural crystal, you know, like, uh, hold on. Yeah, okay, so think like the shape of the nether quartz, but three-dimensional, okay? So something like that. If I can pull that off, oh, I'll, I'll be very, very happy with it. I might... I might need to vary up the blocks, though. It might not work with just the Aurora Crystal because of the way it's uh, the coloring of it works. As you see right here, it's blue and it morphs into green. But over here, this is the same stuff. It's pink and purple and stuff. Um, But maybe I can mix it with some ice. Is this, um, this is just emerald ice? So yeah, some of the emerald ice. Um, to make some different colored crystals that stick out uh, in these spots right here. So I'm going to have to play around with that some more. But right now, I have an idea for something that I want to do. And that has to do with note blocks. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm very excited. Well, I might need more of the note blocks actually yes i need note blocks and repeaters observers and at least one lever probably more than that though so <laughs> and then we're gonna go over to the tavern and we're gonna dig out a space beneath it okay this will just about do it. Now it's time to start putting down the note blocks and stuff. Actually, first I need some wall. Okay. Um, there's no ATM. 
That's rude. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see. Um, check on that and one of those and uh, one of those. It's one piece. Okay. And one of those as well. Okay. Okay, all the blocks, uh, most of the blocks are placed, all the essential ones anyway. All I've got to do is tune the note blocks. Oops, that was not the right one. <laughs> all right, now if we do this, timing is a little bit off but we're gonna fix that with a little contraption over here we're gonna make i'm gonna make a clock yes me i'm gonna make a clock <laughs> uh uh let's see we have all these repeaters are set to four one two three four five and another we're gonna need another four okay so six times four we'll just need six repeaters all set to four so here's here's what here's what I'm thinking. Okay, so usually note block contraptions are these huge huge things uh, that go on forever uh, to make a specific song. All right, but what I want to do here is I want to make something an an instrument, a note block instrument that will allow me. Choose which chords to play when. Uh, ooh, that could be a problem. All right, this should do it. Okay, what I need... If I can talk, if I can articulate what I'm trying to say. Anyway, we have the music part. All right, each time this observer is triggered, it will play uh, a set of C chords. All right, about measure, half a measure, depending on stuff and this one is oh darn okay this and then we've got a g chord and an a minor and i might expand it and add an f later but that's uh, not important right now these are the three that we need the most all right now we need the timing because one thing i could do is i could just put a lever on each of these observers and then flick it whenever the chord needs to be played but I, that would be very difficult. <laughs> I'd have to go, hold on. I'd have to go, bum, 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 bum. I'd have to get it just right every time. Or else something like that'll happen. So what I want to do is to make a clock right here that is uh, 24 ticks long. I think something like this might work, but I'm not sure. It didn't work. I had spent a long time messing with various clocks before I found the real problem, which ended up, uh... <laughs> uh, anyway, I solved the problem. Okay, I figured it out. Turns out the problem wasn't the timer at all. It was the observers that I was having right here. So what I'm gonna do, instead is i'm going to have some repeaters right here and we're going to have um, we're supposed to sticky pistons here we go um where have i put the stuff oh. there we go okay like that okay and then we'll tear this up and move it like that so that it uh does things and things and stuff uh i can certainly talk today that is one of my strong suits <laughs> oh it'll be better actually if it goes this way so that we don't run out of uh pepper. In the middle of one of them, we'll go right here. Okay, now we need some levers. 
We're gonna put the levers on top of the pistons. Oop. Like this. So that when we flick the lever, this block transfers the power into the node blocks. There we go, and then we... <laughs> oh my goodness. And when we want to switch cords, we just switch the one that's being powered. <gasps> oh, this is a lot simpler than I thought it would be, but I just had an idea to make it even easier to operate. Hold on, we turn it off. Mm, what I'm thinking, what I'm wondering if I can do right now is if I can make something around here that can make it so that I just push a button to toggle uh, a cord. And then, if I want to do another cord, I can just push that button, and that'll automatically turn that one off. Ooh. I think it should be possible, but I'm not exactly sure how um, to do it. Let's see. Maybe. Hmm. I'm going to have to look up RS Snorlatches. I think I mentioned those earlier, but I was actually... <laughs> meaning to say T flip flops, which is basically uh what this is. Um but um <laughs> uh what what can I say? I'm not a redstoner, I just like solving problems. <laughs> okay, the instrument is complete. We've got uh C chord right here, we've got G, and we've got D minor right now. Right now this one is D minor. If I wanted to change it to something else later, I can do that pretty easy. And in fact, if I wanted to switch up the rhythms, that wouldn't be too difficult later on. And then we've got blank one for another chord later, and we've got a little thingamajig, uh, a flourish for the end of the song. Uh, but, um, as much as I want to sing you guys a song right now, I'm actually coming down with a cold <laughs> at the moment. Try, I'm trying to fight it off with some, like, uh, ginger tea and stuff like that. Uh, but, uh, we're gonna have to wait for that. Um, but, uh, I can give you a little bit of a sample. So we've got dum 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 dum. That's the length of each thing, um, and I do. There is a bit of a learning curve as to the timing of pressing the buttons. Basically, you can press the button any at any at any point, but it works best if you do it like right after the chord uh, previous to the one you want to play. Basically, if this one's playing, and if I want to play this one, boom, boom, that's the right place. That's that's the ideal place to do it. If you do it too late in the chord, uh, we get some weird stuff going on. I'm not exactly sure how to replicate it, but. Uh, Basically, you want to make sure not to hit it too late. But yeah, uh, I'm I'm uh, coming down with a little bit of a cold, so um, not gonna I'm not gonna be able to sing you a song right now. But maybe later. May hopefully, hopefully, pretty soon. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do have one in particular in mind, which is why I have those specific chords there. Um so I'm not I'm not like putting it off because I don't want to. I do want to. I really want to. <laughs> uh just my voice can't handle it right now. Alright, so 
in light of that, we're just going to cap this episode off with a little bit of fun. There's another ship in the works. Ooh. Oh, very cool. Oh, yeah. I haven't shown you this yet. Uh, this is a boat that I built with my brother. I don't, I don't think I've introduced you to my brother yet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he and I just decided randomly to build this boat uh, a few weeks ago, actually. <laughs> this has been up for a while. Um, and then uh, there's another boat here, it looks like. Somebody's built in another boat. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, ooh, ooh. Yeah, but these are Indigo's docks, and he has a whole bunch of slots for people to put boats in and stuff. Ooh, it looks like it fails. I can't swim. Why can't I swim? Eh, I'm bad at swimming. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> but what else? He did this little armor stand down here. Oh, and it looks very cool. Very nice. Very cool. Um... Hmm, coral stuff. <laughs> uh, I might need to get some coral. Yes. Okay, something fun. I know I've remembered what it is that I want to do. I just don't remember uh, which way it is. Uh, not that way. Maybe it's this way. This thing right here. Ooh. Okay, okay. So this place, if I can get up the stairs, um, is going to be the mini game district, and it's not lit up at all. <laughs> uh, um, I think there's a village around here somewhere, or I could just pull my bed out of my ender chest. That would work. But yeah, this is gonna be the minigame district and I think this is actually the building I'm looking for. Let's just fly over here to get rid of any creepers nearby and hopefully not land on my face. There we go. Ooh. It is a face. Alright, so it looks like some Discord context is required to understand this. It's, the signs don't explain exactly what it is. Um, so what I need to do, this is like a quest thing some kind of quest thing um i need to throw a diamond onto the moss press the button and then it'll give me a quest to do let me pull out a diamond from my ender chest Eight minutes Dr. Box. Hmm. Diorite, moss, cherry, and loom. Build a structure with this pallet. Ooh. Yikes. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. What am I supposed to... Hmm. Okay. A structure. Oh my goodness, a structure with this palette right here. Okay. Um, hmm. You know, I might be able to get creative with this. Huh. I mean, it didn't say it has to be a building. It didn't say what kind of structure it had to be. It just has to be a structure. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. Now I think about it, it doesn't even say where I have to build this structure. Oh, hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit mischievous. <laughs> okay, let's see. We've got the green of the moss. We've got the messy white diorite. And the dark cherry wood and this we've got this side that kind of looks like an empty bookshelf we got this side 
that could look like a typewriter or um, cash register. Um, I don't know. Or a pillar of something. Hold on. Hmm. No, I don't like that. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Um, and then we've got this. Just strings going across. Maybe a decent floor texture. And then, and then we've got the bottom of it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And also, I can just kind of, uh, yeah, I can just kind of come in here and sit down and snatch stuff so that it doesn't get composted like that. Because I feel like these will probably be useful. Possibly. I don't know. I still don't know what I'm going to build. <laughs> I just know that this is part of the palette uh, because moss is included. And while I do that, I'll try to figure out what exactly I want to build with all this stuff. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, and that idea <laughs> reminds me. Uh. Makes makes me think again of how. The instructions do not say where to build the structure. <laughs> and I am feeling a little mischievous, I gotta say. A little bit mischievous. say that's uh, <laughs> uh that uh, where did the paper go ah uh is this it mm, i must have misplaced the paper somewhere okay whatever but i would say that would be that quest just about done uh i cannot wait to see um uh, his reaction to that um <laughs> It just said structure. It didn't say it had to be a permanent structure or that it couldn't be a break. <laughs> okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Indigo know that I have done an easy quest and uh, also let him know to record the next time he logs on. <laughs> yeah, but that's going to have to be it for this episode. <laughs> all right, anyway, thank you all for watching. I've been the Amateur Pretzel. Stay hydrated. Ugh. I need some water.